Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I am sorry for this kind of awkward view that you have here at the start of this video. I am cat sitting this week. I did some shopping while I was here in the city and um, I didn't bring my tripod or my microphone because I didn't expect to do this. So this is kind of a mess, I know. It's very organized from my view. I know to you it's just kind of a pile of stuff. But I'm hoping as I start to go through it and hold it up that this will be like a good view for you to be able to see up close. So let me show you. Um, I went to a couple of different places. I went to Target, so that's kind of this half of the table. And then I also went to Burlington. I haven't been to a Burlington in like over a year, you guys. I mean, it's crazy. Um, I'm, yeah, I bought all the things because I haven't been anywhere in a very long time. So, oh, and I did also in the little like neighborhood dollar store, find a couple of things. So maybe I'll just show you those first. Um, so I found, I've been wanting one of these like unicorn shaped ones for a long time. So it's just one of those sensory toys that you pop. Uh, the bubbles in and out, and this is like a rainbow unicorn. I've seen this one actually online on like Instacart, not Instacart, on um, Instagram and things like that, but I've never seen one like in person in a store. Since they had it, I went ahead and picked it up. They also had this little butterfly one, which I thought was so cute, um, and so, you know, I had to have the butterfly for Zoe, so I picked up the butterfly one as well. That's the only two things I got there. I swung through the farmer's market and I needed an ATM. So I ran in the 99 cent store and these were up front. So I just went ahead and grabbed them while I was there. Um, now moving on to Target. Um, so in Target, I picked up this pack of colors of the world crayons. I have these in like the, the eight pack of the chunky crayons, the fat crayons. And these were a super good buy, way cheaper than I've seen them on Amazon and other places. So I went ahead and picked up a pack of these. Then I picked up a bunch of these little Cat and Jack hair clips. These are so cheap. I used to actually make hair bows and sell them on Etsy. I buy a lot of my hair bows on Etsy. And hair bows are really expensive, um, like for a good reason, because when people are making them by hand, the cost of the materials and the labor that it takes is just astronomical. I used to always actually lose money. Um, I very rarely turned a profit. So if I was lucky, I could break even. Um, so for these, these were two fifty, dollars And for that price, I mean, this is like a nice size bow. Maybe able to tell from my hand. And I just thought these were really sweet. So this one actually goes with this romper right here that I'm going to show you for Zoe. And then I just thought these were precious. If they would have had more of these, I would have bought them and given them to kind of like everyone I know. I haven't decided if I'm going to give these. Um, I have a family member who's having a baby and they already have a one-year-old. So I haven't decided if I'm going to give these to them for their girls so they match or if I'm going to keep them as pigtail bows for Aria. I really love them. So if I could find more, that would make the decision a little easier. Um, and then I found this super sweet pink bow that has this gorgeous silver metallic on the side. And this just matches like everything. So many things, right? So I loved this little silver detailing. Again, they only had one. If they would have had more, I would have bought more of those. Then I actually went in Target looking for a very specific thing. Um, or I guess a very specific set of things. And I did find them. I had to go to two Targets, but I did find them. So the first one is this super sweet little butterfly lovey. This is a just one you lovey. I just think this is the sweetest thing. Look at that happy little butterfly face. I love these floral wings. This is velour and it is so, so soft. And then it's just like your typical kind of lovey or security blanket at the bottom. So there were two of these left in the store. The first store that I went to said they were in stock and they lied. Um, and so the second store that I went to, there were two left in stock and I bought them both. I got one for Zoe and one for my family member that is having a baby girl as a gift. Although again, if they would have had more, I would have bought more because if I, when I give security blankets for gifts, I like to give more than one in case something ever happens to it, then you always have a backup. 
This is the other thing that I specifically went looking for. And it is this super sweet little Just When You Butterfly outfit. I had seen this lovey and this little outfit on Instagram. Penny's Tiny Closet packed this with a baby that she was sending home, Erin. And I loved it. So I messaged her and I said, where did you get that? And she said, Target. And I was like, oh no, I can't go to Target. Um, I was hoping it was like somewhere that I could easily find it online. So I did have this in my online cart for a while, but unless you meet a certain minimum at Target, the shipping, at least in my area, is pretty high. Um, so I was really glad just to be able to find it finally. It wasn't on sale, even though it's been around for a while, but it's just this really sweet, long-sleeved, preemie onesie. It does like the side snap kimono, little tiny bows. I'm not sure if you can see, but it has little tiny bows all the way up the top. It has this little striped hat that has a bow on it has little, like, look at these itty-bitty little feeties. It has the teeniest, tiny little feeties on these little footed pants. Mine currently has a lot of cat hair. And so it's just this really sweet little three-piece set. And I got that. You know, I love butterflies. You know, I love preemie clothes. And so it was a really good marriage for me. Then I got this for Zoe. So this is the thing that I said that the navy bow is going to go with. Um, this is an O to three months. It's a short sleeved romper, but it has long pants, no feet, and it has swirly little rainbow ice cream cones. This is actually from their pride collection. This was so cheap. It was like $8 and it's really thick fabric. It's really nice. So this is for Zozo and I'm excited to put that on her. I love Zoe and rompers. Absolutely love. And then the last thing from Target is actually three of the same thing. So I found this precious little Cat and Jack outfit. It has this gorgeous little ruffling on the chest. Sorry about the noise in the background. Franklin decided, the cat decided now would be a good time to scratch the post. Um, so this is a gorgeous little cat and jack outfit. It has little bunnies and little flowers. It's like a really sweet pale blue. The centers of the flowers are like a neon orange. And then this is like a dark blue. Um, the leaves and the stems are like a dark blue. I love the ruffles. It is sleeveless, but then it has again, like long pants with no feet and it came with a matching headband. I mean, how precious is this? So this one is a newborn, and it's for the new family member's little girl. And then I wanted to get one for her sister so that they could match. I don't know if the mom is going to do matchy-matchy stuff, but I really wanted for them to have this to match. So this is a 12 months. It's like the exact same outfit in a 12 months. And then after I bought this one, which, as you may be able to see, this one was on clearance, and so was the newborn. This, I found these at the first Target, and they were on clearance. Then, after I got them home, these were the only two in the store, I started to panic that by the time that summer comes around, and the new baby is here, and this newborn one fits the new baby, that the other little girl might no longer fit in 12 months. She's been in the 12 months for a while, so I went to the new Target where it was not on clearance and I found the exact same thing in an 18 months. So I have three of that outfit, three of the exact same outfit. I just think it's so sweet. I loved it so much. Then I picked up two of these. So we're moving on to like the Burlington Hall now. So I picked up two of these at Burlington <laughs> and they're just these little sea turtle, Bob the Turtle. Um, teether shapes. I got these for my new twins that I'm expecting. I thought these were just so cute. I love sea turtles and they go with their theme. Burlington, as you know, is always like so cheap. So these were $2.99. I'm not sure how much they were originally, but they're ma'am. And most of ma'am's teethers and stuff like that, I feel like are fairly expensive when I buy them new. So that was a deal. Then for Zoe, I picked up two packs of Passies. And um, there are these little Minnie Mouse passies, Disney baby passies. I actually really like the shape on Zoe, the mams that are the shape, and then these. I really like what Zoe's, um, they look so nice on Zoe's face. 
So I couldn't decide if I wanted this more kind of classic mini pack with the shades of pink and the purple one down there. You know, purple is always color. Or if I wanted this one, which has these super sweet, like soft pinks, pastel pinks. And then there's also a white one, which I feel like a white passy is sometimes hard to find. Um, and since I couldn't decide and since it was Burlington and they were so inexpensive, I just got them both. So I'm going to modify some and leave some intact for display. I always like to do that when I buy packs of pacifiers or if I have several of one brand of pacifier, I'll leave a couple that I can attach to a clip on her clothing. And then I'll also have one that's magnetized that will sit on her face, which not that I'm taking Zoe out right now, but I think we're getting to the point where I'm gonna be doing that more or being able to do that again. Um, I just think it like adds so much realism to have kind of more than one because that's what I do with real babies. I clip one to their clothes and then I always have like spares, right? Then I also, oh, and I don't think I said, but these were $2.99 for the four pack. Then I also picked up this super cute little yellow butterfly toothbrush. This is by Colgate. It was $1.99. I had seen these at the drugstore, like on Instacart, um, when I had Instacarted some medication. And they were pretty expensive there. Um, I don't remember how much, but pretty high. Pretty expensive. So I'm really glad to have this one that was, like I said, only $1.99. Um, and... This matches the theme of Zoe's room. You know, I love butterflies. Thought it was a super cute little prop. They did have a pretty decent amount of koala baby at this Burlington. Burlington is the one place that you can still sometimes find koala baby because I think they're still getting like the dregs of the discontinuation from the um, Babies R Us and Toys R Us closing. They did have quite a lot in newborn. They had some really cute girl stuff. And they did also have, you know an okay amount in baby boy stuff, which to me wasn't as cute. Um, but I like to buy Koala Baby in preemie for Juno and there was no preemie anything anywhere in the store. I did look and look. So I didn't get a lot of the Koala Baby stuff. I just got this one sleeper. It kind of killed me to leave it there because it's one of my favorite brands and that's, you know, you just can't get it anymore. Um, but I don't need a lot of newborn boy clothes I need preemie clothes, and so I decided this little sea turtle was like the one thing that I just couldn't leave behind. So the little feeties are little sea turtles that have eye patches, which are so cute. It's this gorgeous turquoise stripe, and it has the stark blue trim at the collar and the sleeves. And like I said, that's a koala baby newborn. That was $5.99. Then I found just these two little very basic tie-dyed shirts. These were on clearance for $1.98, and that's why I got them. Um, I have mentioned that I am expecting twins. My twins are bigger babies, and so these are bigger shirts, as you may be able to see here. They're just little blue tie-dye. They are very similar, but not exactly the same, which is really sweet. That's kind of the nice thing about tie-dye, right? And for that price, I just didn't feel like I could leave them. They're from Free Planet. Um... Yeah, so these will just go with any of their little shorts or separates they already have. I did also get, um, I can slide that book over. I did also get these little sets for the twins. They had a few things there for the twins that I really liked and I would have gotten, but I was trying to like slow down a little bit on the spending. Um, next month is going to be a short month for me because I'm not going to, um, my bosses are going to be out of town, so I'm not going to be working part of the month and I'm just trying to not go all the way crazy. I think I've kind of gone crazy enough. So um, I didn't get everything that I wanted, but I did get a few things that I really, truly loved. This was one of them. Truth be told, I bought this for the shorts um, because I don't like think that I could find shorts like this actually probably for the price that I paid for the whole set. I loved these shorts. They're like olive green and they have little plants all over them, like little grasses. They are just so cute. They had similar shorts on T Collection, which is where most of these babies have gotten their clothes from. And they were sold out in their size. So I have purchased these little sets. 
which do not want to stay on the hangers. They have fallen off the hangers 20 times today. But it has this dinosaur print uh, onesie. And then also this little dino tee. And this is like puff paint. It's like 3D. And then the little shorts. So that's the three-piece set. I did get two of them. They were $7.99. I don't know if you know, um, but Jurassic Park was actually mostly filmed in Hawaii. And um, since these babies have like a theme of Hawaiian clothing, it does kind of still go. I mean, it's not like really on brand with a lot of the other stuff that I've been buying for them. But I think I'll probably keep the shirts. I haven't fully decided to be honest, but I think I will. Then I got this for Zoe. I think this is so sweet. It's just this little butterfly outfit. Um, again, Zoe doesn't need more clothes. They had tons of stuff that I wanted for her, but I was trying to be reasonable. So it's just this little hat that has a bow. It's very similar to that Carter's, um, to that just one you said, actually. I've never heard of this brand, I don't think. Catherine Mal uh, Malandrino. I don't know. It doesn't sound familiar to me. I think there's a tag I can show you. So this is the brand. Anyway, it's um, little footed pants and the footed pants are so precious. They have a little bow and they have a little butterfly right on the little feeties. And then the onesie is like a pale pink and white stripe and it has a butterfly print all over it. And then this gorgeous little hat that has the bow. So that's the little three piece set for Zoe. Um, and like this ruffling detail that's around the neck and also down the side to me is just so sweet. There's this little ruffling detail. So that is for Zozo. I did also pick up this book. This is a Crayola book. It's called I Dream in Color. I have picked up some Crayola puzzles here in the last couple of maybe like year or so. I found some sweet little Crayola puzzles at Dollar Tree and then I saw this little book. So, I don't know. I think it's really cute that they're sort of doing these types of things now. That feels new. But I opened this up in the store, and I began reading it. And it was just the sweetest little thing. So, I'm excited to have it for just generally for my library, but also possibly for a story time Sunday. Um, this is a really sweet little book. And this was $3.99. Also, I'm not sure I said how much Zoe's outfit was, but it was... Um, I feel like $6.99 maybe. I actually don't see a tag on it now, but that sounds right. It feels right. Uh, so yeah, that's everything that I have picked up on my little shopping spree today at Burlington and also at Target. Um, I hope you have enjoyed watching. Um, so yeah, this is what I have for today and I hope you have enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.